The motto, neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds, is associated with U.S. postal workers. But court documents show a former Memphis Postal Service employee may have been doing something else with the mail, such as allegedly stealing a check and depositing it. It's left some customers angry and surprised. Theft is always a problem, but you know, we always have to be cautious about theft. And that's terrible. We want to depend on the companies to take care of our transactions. Police documents say Erica Ingram, who worked at a mail processing facility, is now charged with identity theft and theft of property of $1,000 or less. MPD says a victim filed a police report after a check was stolen out of the mail. The check for $638 was deposited at the Bank of America on North Germantown Parkway back on December 3rd of last year. It was allegedly made payable to the victim's deceased parents. That's completely awful and rude and dis disrespectful. How can somebody trust the Postal Service if they can't be certain their information and their mail will be sent to the right person? MPD gathered video footage and other evidence that made Ingram the suspect. They say she admitted to depositing the check in return for a $200 payment. This is just a case where, where you can do everything right and someone still can, can steal your check, right? You could follow all the tips, but nothing I really say could, could prevent an employee stealing a check. The Better Business Bureau of the Mid-South recommends when writing checks or mailing them to consider the following. Use gel black ink to make them harder to forge. Consider buying thicker security envelopes. Always watch your bank account for suspicious transactions and send larger checks via certified mail to help keep your money as safe as possible. I don't think we just need to scrap checks all together, but uh, you just need to be cautious if you're sending a check and make sure that you're following up. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Some good tips there, and right now, no other suspects have been linked to this stolen check case. Uh